Right, okay folks, welcome to another Friday Waffle. Um, again, this is getting recorded on Thursday. Um, but uh, I don't know why I told you that, it's completely irrelevant. Anyway, how are you? I hope uh, you're all doing well. Um, nights are starting to kind of get lighter, which is great. And the weather has definitely uh, got a bit better as well. Certainly kind of... It's not as cold. It's definitely not as cold. So uh, yeah, just uh, again, this is going to be a short one because uh, I did uh, a live Friday waffle last week, which I had an absolute hoot uh, recording. Um, hopefully you, I didn't record it. It was a live, a live one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I mean, it ended up running for like an hour and forty minutes. Um, so that was good. So uh, yeah, what have I been doing this week? Um, I, I successfully got my uh, I successfully got my brown belt at uh, Cook Soul, which is technically only one belt away from black belt, um, but it's not that easy. Of course, it's not going to be that easy um, to attain your black belt. You've then got to get I think it's six black tabs. Now, a black tab is the equivalent of three months uh, training. So you're talking about, what would that be, about another year and a half, um, all going well, I stick in, you know, keep practicing. Um, I could technically attain my black belt in a year and a half, um, which, when I think about, you know, I started just over a, not just over two years ago, um, I didn't have any expectation um, as to what I was, how I was going to get on, um, and so the fact that I've managed to get to where I've got uh, is surprising, uh, and I don't mind admitting I'm really chuffed to kind of do that. So uh, yeah, that was on that was on Saturday. It was bloody brutal. It was tough as anything, um, but that's the whole purpose of testing. They really they push you kind of almost beyond breaking limits and then you've got to do kind of various techniques and forms and what have you so that, that was good um, I've not got anything written down uh, and I say there's no comments from uh, the last uh, the, the live one um, which I don't I, I understand because most people that watch the Friday Waffle if they're watching it live they're going to be obviously partaking in it when it's actually happening and then they're not likely to then come back and watch it again. At least I don't. I hope you don't do that. Um, and probably more than likely, you're not going to go back in and leave a question. But uh, what I will say to you guys, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, I, I mentioned about I had no kind of questions. Um, there was really nothing to talk about at all. And the response was phenomenal. It really was. Um, I got a great number of... Uh, great number of people asking me questions which was great in fact I'm just trying to think did I actually answer them hmm I'll need to have a look listen if I didn't answer them I might off I can't actually remember if I didn't answer them then I will answer them I'll use these for next week's Friday waffle if that makes any sense um, but what I will ask you if uh, if I do a what do you call it if I do a a a live Friday waffle, I would ask that you still make a point of going in and posting a question because if I don't then it means I've got a blank week. Uh, and again if they want if you want a Friday waffle you need to you need to keep keep giving me stuff. In fact you know what I have got a great there's yeah I, I, I think I did answer the questions but there was one in particular which uh, I got asked and that was about just my experiences, just kind of to talk about what growing up in Scotland was like, you know, the kind of the turn of the video game industry and that kind of stuff. So I've not got time to answer that one tonight, but I will make a point of uh, trying to answer that one next week. I'll take a wee note so I don't forget. So this week, from a gaming point of view, I've not been doing a great deal. Um, I've not been playing my Xbox for a while. I've not really had a chance to play anything. Um, I mean I did a I did a live stream on Saturday eh Saturday on Sunday. Um <laughs> it, it actually went down really well. Um what I did was I uh, I decided I was gonna look at a number of arcade home conversions um specifically on the ZX Spectrum and Commodore sixty four 
and then what I was going to do is I was going to rate them, you know, out of ten graphics, gameplay, uh, sound, and then I, I rated each bit out of ten, and then I totted up all the scores, and then I kind of compared them. Um, spoiler: Commodore 64 won, um, which I'm not overly surprised at, you know. But uh, it's what is interesting is how when you make videos like that C64 versus Spectrum there's still a great deal of kind of passion um, that exudes from people watching it, um, I think I was kind of annoying a few people which was which was quite funny, um, people are still really, you know, they still defend their their 8 bit of choice um, even what, you know, 40 years after it was a thing, so it was good fun um, and a few guys did say, look, that was really good, can you do another one? So, I think I might do that, I might do that this coming Sunday. Um, so that that was good fun. Before I forget, um, Arcade Club, me and a bunch of guys, there's going to be about four of us, uh, three or four of us, travelling from Scotland down to Arcade Club on Friday and Saturday, which is the 19th and 20th or is it the 18th and 19th of April? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the plan is we're going to drive down on the Friday night, go out for a curry on the uh, on the Friday night, and then, uh, what do you call it? I keep getting interrupted on my phone there. I'm just going to turn it over so I don't see it. Then uh, on the Saturday, we're going to spend all day at Arcade Club and then come back up on the Sunday. So we've booked a hotel. Um, can't remember the hotel we've booked. It's in Bury. It's Arcade Club in Bury. So it's the Friday and Saturday, which is the 18th and 19th of April, or is it the 19th and 20th? I can't remember exactly, but go and look at the calendar and you'll you'll see. So we've got that. So I've just got one thing um, I want to talk about tonight. I <coughs> I joined another uh, another Discord channel. Um, and uh, this 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 guy's been buying a lot of original hardware. Um, he's been buying a lot of original hardware, and I I said to him, "Have you ever thought about uh, getting a mister?" And then this person replied, "Ooh, emulation." Now I then replied, "Well, actually, the mister isn't an emulator. It's I used to think it was, but it's not." I've since been told that it is, but you know what? What really, really hacks me off is there is this core of people who uh, claim to be v retro video game fans, and yet they absolutely hate upon emulation. Now, I totally, totally, totally get that playing a Spectrum emulator on a PC does not come anywhere as close to playing it on a proper, you know, ZX Spectrum with your, your quick shot uh, joystick plugged into your Kempston interface thing. I, I mean, the game, the game will play the same. You know, it may look different um, depending on what you've got your Spectrum plugged into. Chances are, if you're playing on your PC, you're going to get like a super razor sharp, <coughs> excuse me, picture, which you know you're unlikely to get if you're playing it on the original hardware. But as far as the game goes itself, emulators now are just they're almost perfect. You know, I mean, there's very very few systems. I can't think of any system offhand that isn't emulated pretty much perfect. Um, the one which they used to have a lot of problems with, <coughs> excuse me, and I think they've kind of more or less rectified it with the N64, but you know the Sega Saturn and the PlayStation 2 all the way back to the Atari 2600, the guys who write emula emulators, they've absolutely nailed it. So you know, the only difference you've got using an emulator or using original hardware as opposed to an emulator is you've got the whole experience. You know, you've got sitting beside a TV with your little rubber keyboard or if it's a Commodore 64, you've got your be beige uh, brown 
you know, beige, sorry, bread bin, um, joysticks plugged in. You've got the you've got the authentic experience. You're having to maybe load a tape and wait for it to load. But uh, my argument is people who watch films, who are film buffs, who watch films, you know, it doesn't matter what when the film came out, they don't they don't dismiss or diss people who watch a film through Netflix. You know, have you got to go to the cinema to watch a film? Does does it lessen the the experience or the enjoyment because you've watched it on your phone, because you've watched it on your fifty two inch TV? Um, people like that, they're not interested. It doesn't matter. And it's the same with music. If you listen to, I don't know, "Buy the Hell," it's a fantastic track. Does listening to it on vinyl make it any better a song? if somebody listened to it on iTunes or Amazon Music. No, not at all. It doesn't matter. It's completely irrelevant how people actually access a game. Whether they use an emulator, whether they use a mister, which technically I now know is an emulator. It doesn't bloody matter whether they use a real bit of hardware. It's completely irrelevant. I mean, you can some of these emulators you can actually run in browsers now. You know, and I just, it really, really, really fucks me off when you get arseholes who are so far up their own backside that they go, oh, emulation, fuck off. What, you know, <laughs> I could understand if emulators were crap, if they didn't run games properly. In some, in some ways, emulators actually run games better. Things like the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, N64, you can run them at a far higher resolution and they'll go, oh, it's emulator, it's cheating, it should be low res and look shit. You know what I mean? Fuck off, honestly. It just, it gets in my nerves. It should all be, you know, they claim to be retro gaming fans. Well, if that's the case, what difference does it make how somebody enjoys, you know, like playing a game. I mean, I've got a shitload of original hardware and I would be the first to say if I could play a game on an emulator or I could sit on a nice comfy chair and load up a Commodore 64, I'm always going to go for the Commodore 64. The reality is, I don't use my Commodore 64 anymore. I've got a mister which plays it perfectly. So on my TV, you know, I've even got to type in load, blah, 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 blah. So you're getting the full experience. You, you feel like, other than the keyboard looking different, instead of it looking like a Commodore 64, it looks like a PC keyboard. That is it. That is the only difference. I mean, I've got a, I've got a bloody uh, Atari-type joystick which plugs into a USB, so I've even got the proper controls. You know, so fuck off, honestly. People that diss emulation or somehow think it's it's less a thing than than playing in real hardware. They're talking absolute wank. You know, I mean, the, th the thing that gets me is real hardware is nice, but is, if you've gone on eBay any time in the last, you know, couple of years, you'll see that the price of the original hardware is just shot up. No, everybody can afford it. You know, I mean, I'm the reason I got a mister um, is because whilst I've got a great collection of original hardware, I'm fully aware that uh, it's not going to last forever. You know, it's capacitors and transistors and resistors, whatever it is, they're going to start blowing up, they're going to stop working. I mean, the number of times that I've bought a PC engine, I go to use it and it doesn't work because it's getting old, it shouldn't be working after 30, 40 years. So emulation, mister, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's completely credible and, you know, so you've got that, you've got people, you know, you need to have deep pockets to be able to afford the original hardware. Not everybody's got the money to, to buy original hardware. Um, you've then got the physical space aspect. I mean, I'm lucky I've got a nice kind of big games room here. But again, I've got about, I don't know, a dozen systems in a cupboard because I don't have the room to set them up. Um, so, you know, emulation is utterly, utterly fantastic. In 40 years, I will virtually guarantee that nobody will be playing a ZX81 because they're not going to work unless you're clever. 
you know how it fix things, they still manufacture things that are compatible, you know, all the original hardware is eventually going to stop working and it's the only way people are going to be able to enjoy the classic games is going to be through emulation. So, you know, the next time you see somebody going, Ugh, emulators, just go like that to them. Honestly, they really, really get on my tits. Anyway, I'm going to stop moaning. Right, listen folks, I'm going to get going. Um, all going well, I will be uh, along on Sunday. And I think I might try and do another, I don't know, I'll think about it. I'll do another face-off type thing where two computers face it off against a series of games so i'm gonna get going folks uh, i hope you all have an absolutely fantastic weekend until next time folks as always thank you very very much for watching